Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Star Sector Season 6. Last time, we had an amazingly bad fight on my behalf, where we lost a lot of ships. Um, Powerpuff took a massive beating, the lands got lost. We lost all of these. We lost even two more ships that weren't recovered, unfortunately. We lost the victory so soon after we got it. Duchess, and we lost another ship as well. Excuse me. We need to go back and lick our wounds. Oh, yes, we lost Glimmer of Hope. And as such, you will be renamed eventually to Glimmer of Hope too, but we are in no position to do anything at the moment. What we need to do is we basically we need to... We have the fuel. We haven't got the supplies to make it back home, unfortunately. Actually, you can go suspend you. We'll suspend, we'll, sus we'll suspend a lot of this stuff, actually. You can suspend a lot of this. For now. Because we need to get out of here, I think. We need to go back and we need to lick our wounds. Where are we going? We're going there, I think. We'll, we'll swing by Ephesus, see if you can find any stuff there. We got that money. That fight was a fight for 1.5 million credits, so I'm still not, not still not sure if it was worth it. But you can go to Ephesor. Ephesor View. And see if you can get enough supplies out of there, at least, to make... Uh, do you have any supplies? No, you don't have any supplies. You got supplies here, good. So buy a couple of stacks of supplies, can we? Uh, buy, can, we, can we buy a couple of stacks of supplies? We can just about get a couple of stacks of supplies. Good, so we'll do that. Boom. Then we're gonna go back here and turn you off on again. Our fleet is now greatly reduced in capacity. We are currently in Era 1, I think, so I think we can swing by Prism on the way back. We can have, definitely swing by Prism and see if we can outfit a lot of these ships there. Um, I think we're going to buy off here before we head off. I think we want to buy here. The Graviton Beams, keep that... Um, Another Mjolnir? Sure. Um, we're definitely going to be outfitting the Powerpuff with a lot more Burst PD lasers. A large amount of Burst PD lasers. A large amount, large amount of point defense anythings, to be honest. After that nonsense that we had before. Interceptors. Any amount of Burst defense lasers will be kept, I think. We are full up on men. Okay, we are absolutely packing, so we're going to repair as much as we can. Uh, repair up. Then we leave. We're, hang on, we're at four? Where are we? oh, we're at four because these have slowed down, haven't they? Hang on. Need to refit. You are now slowing us down. There you go. That should, that should take you up to seven. You're at seven now. You're at seven. You're at six. Seven. You're at... Thirteen, that's not a problem. Good. So yeah, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Burst defense lasers. Burst point defense. That is not happening again. What happened last time, essentially, was that we... I was surprised by a, a pack of Teutons firing more Clarence than I'd ever seen a pack of Teutons fire. There's Prism over there. They fired more um, Clarence than I'd ever seen one fire before, and when I was busy trying to find out what had launched that many Clarence at me, I got distracted, and an Aurora class with, like, a Reaper 
Cyclone Launcher got next door to me, as did the Archer that was already there. And they just unleashed so many missiles straight into my sides that it was not even funny. Right, so what have we got here? What are we keeping? Zeus, concussion beams, ferro cannons, Goliath SRM launchers. See anything interesting here? Rotunda batteries. I think I liked rotunda batteries, didn't I? Squall batteries and rotunda batteries are pretty decent, I think. I seem to recall, anyway. Um, Scaleron repeaters. Sadly, what I'm looking for is a lot of point defense lasers, but they haven't got them here. Let's see if I can grab you guys, though. That's a lot of cash, isn't it? They're gonna board that. How much are you? You're... Oh, the tariffs are huge. Right. I paid 200, I paid 200 tariffs. Blimey. Um... Okay, we'll board that then, do one by one. I want to keep those two, because I think they're pretty decent. I think they're pretty decent. Um, sure, why not? How do I want these? I don't know if I want them. I'll be back for them, definitely. Uh, need point defense weapons. First point defense is what I'm looking for, more than anything else here. Fleet-wise, what have you got? I know we've got some stuff in storage here. We have the Shaco in storage. We'll pick you up as well. And someone did mention that I, it was named slightly incorrectly because he's the NSS rather than the NSS. NS. Shaco. So we're going to have you as well. So you get to join the you get to join the party now. Ooh, you have a large universal facing forwards. That's scary. Okay, so, and fleet-wise, weapons-wise, what have you got for us? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting fighters. I need Teutons, I would love to have some Teutons on my side. That would be brilliant. Uh, a couple more Xyphos, maybe? The more Xyphos is not, will not, probably will not go amiss. Kavor A Wings. Skinwalker Space Superiority Fighters. Vicarious Bomber Wings. Ladies Heavy Fighters. I'm tempted to pick up and war a couple more Xyphos Wings. Xyphos Wing. Yeah, we'll pick the Cypher Swing for now. Okay. Let's head back home and lick our wounds. Trade disrupt the Semmelweis key. Uh, right. Ooh. My word. Okay, they're favorable with me now at least, so Prisca Gate. Is it quite possible that until the power puff is at levels I can utilize again, I probably will not have to use I'll probably will not utilize them again. Uh, so what do we got here? Let's see, what have we got here? A couple of... okay. Um, it's quite possible that we, have to, we will replace you with the Silent Death for the time being. 
We might take this. We might put you in storage for the time being, because you're, you're you're clearly not you're clearly not ready to leave at the moment. You're not ready to leave at the moment. Like your missiles need work. Um, yeah, you're not ready, so you will be put into storage for the time being. While we find stuff to put you, so we'll put you into storage. We will store you. Which means we will take out. Um, Silent Death and the Bird of Prey. Um, you got you currently are okay. So you got the Silent Death and the Bird of Prey. So let's. Right, you got a Hurricane Merv. You got a second Hurricane Merv in there. You do. You can't get a second Hurricane Merv. Okay. And you got two large ballistics to go. So we're gonna put. Um, Mjolnir, Mjolnir, and then I'm gonna go with, um, you can go Mjolnir, Mjolnir again, I'm gonna go Mark 9s, Mark 9, Mark 9, and that's 800, that's 900, okay, this can go away for now, okay. The only, <clears throat> excuse me. Medium energy turrets. Um, heavy blasters? No. Not heavy blasters. Uh, what do we want? What can go in there? A couple of phase lances, maybe? A couple of pulse lasers. Phase lances. Um, let's put some point defense on there, shall we? Make sure that does not happen again. Point defense, point defense, point defense, point defense, point defense, point defense. Uh, point defense, point defense. We've got several point defenses. What's left over? A couple of medium hit missile hard points. What's going to go in the, in the medium missile hard points? Um, I want to put you in there because I want. To, I'm interested to see what the advanced photon torpedoes do because the ones we had before on the Shack Pounder were unguided. So I don't definitely want to see what this can do. Besides, this this does reload itself. So yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, now you have one, two, three, four small. Is that right? Yeah, we got four medium ballistics to go. You can go. Hypervelocity is velocity, gale, gale. And speed is 4, so which means you have to go for overdrive shunt. Augmented engines. You know, we are a bit heavy on the, uh, on the old... Uh... Oof, that's speed 7. We can lower it down to a 6. We could go down to a 6. If we so chose to do so, we could go down to a six. If we drop augmented engine, if you drop overdrive shunt, we go down to a six. And then we need 30 for that. Okay, so we want to go back down to that. Close support now, yes. Yeah. Um. So, okay, so what are weapon groups here? Yep. Okay, let's put everything on side. Okay, you go there. Auto firing. Um. And you guys on that. Auto firing. You guys on that. Auto firing. There. So these alternate there, alternate there. But you have two separate missiles, which... Okay, that's that, 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 is that, okay? That'll do. Um... Silent Death can come up a bit. There you go, Silent Death. 
Quoth the Raven needs to get decked out again. Point defense. Couple of um, point defense weapons. Point defense, point defense. First PDs. Okay, if you go for. Oh, it's tricky to think about this now. This is tricky. This is this is tricky to think about. It really is. Heavy burst. I could, I could go heavy burst laser. I think if I wanted to. No, I think we're definitely going to go for some point defense back here. It's going to be. Minecrocker's PD, really? Sure, why not? Okay. Couple of medium ballistic turrets. Dual shard cannon. Do you have another one? Or another dual shard cannon. Please tell me we have another dual shard cannon. I don't think we do. Blast. Helen Buckshot. Oh god, right. Um, a couple of those. Um, let's see, get some nice beany weapons. What do you want to grab our hands on? Heavy blasters? No. Graviton beams? Maybe. Pulse lasers, maybe. I just a couple of graviton. Got a couple of graviton beams here. Um, I'm gonna go graviton beams. Might as well put something more high explosive on the front then. What if it's high explosive there? That'll actually deal some damage. Do a couple of skull cannons. We've lost all the good weapons now, so now I'm stuck trying to think about what we can use. Ah, an Argus Point Defense Array. I'll put that there for now. That'll help with Point Defense. Um, and just missiles to go, I think. A couple of Salamanders there, and just one left over. And you can go boom, boom. To you, and just need twelve to go. Twelve would be so that's twelve. Okay. Actually, we've got way too much venting on that one, haven't we? Yeah, we'll play. It. We'll leave that there for now. Okay. You're unfinished, so you're gonna stay at the back for now. Um. There's a lot of um, filling up a shit, filling up a fleet now. It's gonna be a very boring episode, I'm afraid. Uh, medium missile hard points. Uh, small energy turrets. Tactical is medium energy turrets. Um, go for. And here we're gonna go for. Many needlers, maybe? 650. Do you want to go heavy needler? Sure, why not? And you've also got. Okay, so that's there. Your target unit, get a sensor suite. The point defense AI, and then. Load up on this stuff. Uh, drop that. Okay, that'll do for you. You are, well, you are a fast cruiser, so you can go over here. 
You can technically go over there, but you're unfinished. Ah, I mean, quite the boring episode. I do apologize. I'm just okay. So you are the Indian NS Glimmer of Hope too. You kidding me? Two shot. Oh, for God's sake. I can't even do a two. I can't even hit two there. Glimmer of Hope is literally as long as it can be. Um. It can't be Glimmer of Hope. Do I have a name for Medusa again? There's a list. Where's my list? I don't think I did have a name for a list. Uh, Medusa. Medusa was Glimmer of Hope. Uh, hang on. Oh, there's another one here, I can't remember this. I crossed it off because I didn't need one. Is it Demonic Sun? Right, let's try Demonic Sun. I need, to, I need to go out and buy point defense. I've run out of point defense again. Part of me wants to go to Omni Factory and just drop off some point defense stuff over there. I might do that actually, I might head into... Um, Ender and just go to Omni Factory and just drop off some point defense there. Uh, heavy, heavy blasters. Heavy blasters, then we can go for in the front. Something missile -y in the front. A couple of extra boss, sure. How many are you gonna need? You need seven, you're gonna need another 28, so. That's gonna give you twenty. It's gonna give you uh, twenty. Sure, why not? I'll do that, and then you can go that. For now, that'll do. Uh, Demonic Sun gets to go back over here for the time being. The Lance kept its Merced cannons. Well done. You kept your Merced cannons. Was not expecting that to be a thing. Merced cannon. Merced cannon. Pax cannon. Okay, then let me fan laser. And then, I don't know, what, a couple of Belials maybe? Okay, you got 500, 700, 500. If you want something about the 600 range, pulse lasers will do nicely. Except that they won't because of flux issues. You go pulse laser. There, and then slam that in there. And you're gonna have flux issues because flux issues. Um, sure, why not? And then you can go back over here and the, the Shaco, you can stay. Wolf. And okay, so the Shaco. Small hard points, gonna go Reaper Reaper. Small universals there and there. Go for a couple light grazers. Where's light grazer, light grazer, light grazer. Let's go tack lasers, tack lasers, tack lasers, tack lasers, tack laser. And then medium energy turret. Sunfire, medium universals. Okay, it's gonna be what range of 700. Large universal frontwards. Heavy ballist, large heavy ballist, mm, okay. Attacking on Lance. Blitz array. Um, what do I have in store? I can go for Hellbore Cannon, Hephaestus Assault Gun, a Gauss Cannon. Go Hephaestus. Go Hephaestus, then we will complement that with some 
I've lost the driver. I've lost the driver. And absolute flux reduction. That's over there. And I have range issues. And um, point defense AI. That's over there. You can all help it auto fire. Good, that's the Shaco roughly set up. Um, I don't have extra expended missile racks. Hope they'll expand us to two each at least. Um, 20 to go. Mm. Flux coil adjunct. Or. Okay, here you go. Increases zero speed flux boost by 30, maximum speed by 10%, and maximum burn level by 1. So this is what increases all weapon damage by 15%, lowers weapon flux cost by 15%, decreases ballistic and energy weapon range by 15%. Or the assault fitting, which is increases EMP resistance, all integrity, and shortens weapon. Oh, okay. In that case, you could go for the. Yep, you can have that. That'll hopefully go some way to. Okay, you can do that, do that. That increases your damage and lowest flux costs. Good. And we've got 10 points to go. Sure, why not? You go nuts with that. Which means you can actually do some stuff with that, can't you? Overdrive shunt is a bit less than drive conversion. But that'll do nicely. We go overdrive shunt down, drive conversion on. If we remove these two, that'll do. Um, Paragon, fine. Nah, that was that was working. That was working well for you. Um, you go. K barrage goes away. K barrage goes away, and double sun jet in the front. Holly gun. God, it's so tricky. I'm trying to figure out what it can do is appalling. It really is. You got that 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 holly gun in the front. Um, sure, why not? Then you go boom, boom. Yeah, that'll go. That, that needs a name still, so Shaco can move up there. You can move up there. It's beginning. The the domination of of Black Rock ships in my fleet is starting to improve. Is starting to creep on, just like it did in season two. And Suspector Pro, if I remember correctly, your layout was two pulse lasers, nothing else, wasn't it? It was two pulse lasers, max out on both of these stuff, and then... I can't remember what else you had. I can't remember what else you had. I'll give you... I take a Reaper for now, then that gives us five points to play four points five points to play around with. Which we will stick into as auxiliary thrusters make you really maneuverable. And good, you're there. That's that's technically everything. Right, I'm just gonna fly over to I'm sorry about the, the very boring episode this has turned out to be. Um Let's drop off all this stuff. Anything you want to buy? A couple of agents. Good. I'm going to head over to the Omni Factory and just drop off a couple of things there. So that they can work on as we go on it. Not much of a, not much to do today, unfortunately. Not much of a... Not much happened, in fact. Was Ender. Ender? Ender. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Like, everything has dropped down. Our flux has gone down. Our supplies have gone down. Everything is being repaired, right? Nothing's currently... Okay, everything's being repaired as well. 
This fleet is nowhere near as strong as it used to be. Nowhere near as strong as it used to be. But this is this is Sphinx. That's Grayson. It's Pauline Ender. And where is I remember where the Omni Factory is now. Where's Omni Factory? Omni Factory is near Omni Factory, okay, there you are. Let's go there and just drop off um where are we? We are over there. So we'll head over there and just drop off a couple of things for building purposes. Um, Citadel Station, not really dealing with you. Okay, so special functions, well, that's not required. Cargo and personnel. Yeah, okay. Do you have any storage here? No, we didn't leave anything in storage here. Okay, so what do we want to be repeated? We want to get one of you out, so we'll unmount you. Um, I want to unmount you as well. You're going to have nothing there for the time being, but I want to unmount you for now. Unmount you. Unmount one of the tactical lasers, you. Uh, no, you. Your tactical laser. You can keep yours. Um... That's fine, everything here, it's fine. I could probably drop a Sunjet off as well. You're fine, you're fine. Anything you want to drop off here? No, we're good. Um, Argus Particle Beam's tempting. Where is the one? Hang on. There's something I definitely want to drop off. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. Who's got it? Uh, where is it? You got it. I'm dropping that off as well. Yeah, Koth is not in this not Koth is not in a place to start fighting. We'll give you that, and then you can drop it off from there. Quoth cannot fight. Quoth is very undergeared at the moment. But it drops things off. We're gonna drop off we're gonna drop off the burst PD laser, dual shard cannons, graviton beams, tactical lasers, and burst and Argus PD arrays. Oh, God's sake. Let me fly around for a bit until it says until it accepts it. Oh fine, whatever. Yeah, there we go. So Argus PD array two days, burst PD laser one day, dual shard cannon two days, graviton beam two days, tactical laser one day. Open com link. Scan to proceed. And we will pay up for now. Right. I'm sorry this has been a very boring episode. But we needed an episode essentially to recover from last time. We took a bit of a pounding and I think our fleet is pretty... I won't say it's back to where it used to be, but at least it's somewhat capable now. Quoth even needs a bit more equipment, but that should be being built at the time as, as the time goes right now. I know that Silent Death is nowhere near as strong as Quoth Raven was. <laughs> as... It's, not, it's nowhere near as strong as the Powerpuff, and not even necessarily as strong as the Victory. It's the Duchess, but, you know, one can but hope. Anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Um, names. Any names left over? I think there's only one thing that needs naming, and that's the Mantis. I think it was Demonic Sun. If it wasn't Demonic Sun, let me know. I think it was Demonic Sun. So yeah, the Mantis needs naming. I want to see if I can find some more fighter wings. If I can find a Teuton wing, that would be amazing. The Teuton wings are the dream. Anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. See you then. Bye.